Hello and welcome to round three back 10 action of the 2024 Stony Hill Challenge, presented by Discmania and brought to you by Down South Discs. On catch cam today, we have Michael Baker. Drone footage is brought to you by Ben Sauls. And commentary team today is Ryan Ulmer and Ryan Mon. On the card today is Rico Garcia from Bowling Springs, South Carolina. Ryan Mon from Simpsonville, South Carolina. Zach Rawlinson from Spartanburg, South Carolina. And Jeremy Hunter from Columbia, South Carolina. Hole 11 on the diamond layout is a par 3, 167 foot uphill slope shot with an OB creek to the left hand side. Players are going to want to throw something a little overstable with a forehand to get it to sit down on this hill. Got Rico here throwing his zone. Has a one stroke lead over myself currently. Yep, really good. I'm gonna be throwing a zone here. Chalky, chalky. Very, very humid day. I love the different uh, things that y'all do with the chalk bag beforehand. Like some of y'all hit the disc, some of you hit your hand three times and then slam it down. Oh boy. Oh, that one's gonna be boys. down in the river. In the river. That's past the curtain. Yeah, just whatever you feel comfortable with the chalk bag. I'm pretty sure Zach doesn't. Yeah, he see, he just does it with his hand. <laughs> I feel like it, when it gets on the disc, it stays on the stays on it longer. For some reason, I don't know. I've got it down to a science. Uh -huh. No, that's a really good shot. Though. <laughs> I think this is an A1 steak sauce. That's pure beef. Uh huh. That's good. Ooh, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Yep, yep I am. I'm, I'm at the drop zone. Like, it's about. It's about a 30 footer, but it's playing pretty far since it's just going straight up the hill. So. Jeremy. Nice putt. Good putt by Jeremy. Mm -hmm. So it's looking like it's going to be all twos, me with the four. Those are two strikes to everybody on the card. <coughs> Boom, nice birdie. That was pretty rough. Yep. Hole number 12, part three, 281 feet. Super tight tunnel gap, probably 40, 50 feet downhill. Um, across the road is inbounds, and you got to worry about the creek just a little bit short of the basket. Yep, so this is an island hole. If you if you don't make it across the road, you go to a drop zone, which is in the middle of the gap. If you go OB in the river, you take it as normal OB rules. Rico going with the Reco. He's going to find the OB creek. Is that water tender OB? Is Zach's going to go with a forehand. The forehand's good if you can get a little baby flex on it. Like that, yep. Whoa. Yep. Oh, good. Wow, good, good stop. Little air brakes. I didn't think a forehand putter would have enough height to get down there. Uh, if you get a little ante on it, it kind of goes with the gray of the hill. Oh, I saw it. Sneaky. Oh, that oh wow. Sucks. 
He said, oh, that sucked, and it's like 20 I think feet away. It, Heiser skipped off the road to get there, though. We're going back in, Luna. Uber. Absolutely, Beautiful. that's money. Rico after being OP. Got a Jake Mon sighting. Yep. Oh, boy. Sack for birdie. Yep. Looking like it's going to be everybody two on the card and Rico with a four this time. Which mean Rico just flip flopped. Back to a uh, one shook lead for Rico. And some exciting holes coming up. And especially with the next one with the. Uh, oh, yeah. one of the harder holes in the course in my opinion to get the birdie on at least it's a forehand that goes straight and then gets a massive fade or skip he's going to skip over the water onto the hanging basket or play short of the water take it far however you really want to play it we had, we had we had like a 15 minute backup on this hole for some reason oh boy really yeah i never um, thought that would have been it um sat going with the fireball This one is just such a hard birdie to get because the basket is just so far right. Yeah. You definitely have to push the left side of the, mm -hmm. like, and, and probably stand something up around rather than have something over stable yeah, that's you know, get a moving right. Big skip, too. Yep. To go over the water. This is a Halo Destroyer for Jeremy. Yeah, they, 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 little they, little they just put too much flex on him, but that's the miss for sure. That's right. Early right's definitely not where you want to be. Other yeah. than that, you can kind of scramble if you're in straight or a little bit to the left. Yeah. I'm going with a force. Just trying to throw a flat, get to Heiser, and hopefully get a good skip. Threw a little ante, got a good skip, but it was too far. Probably right in the water. I had to make a guess. He panned for a while. Yeah, I thought it was in the water, but I pushed it too deep. I mean, it is, it's so deceiving off the tee. I think this is a Scorpius from Rico, which is uh, Millennium's version of either a boss or destroyer. Around that tree. David Jinkston right there. Mm -hmm. Rico in a very odd spot. Jump put up. I had a gap, but I just laid it up. That's the easy decision. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and just chip it up yeah, and make it easy and be done with take it. Take the bar and force yep. to make this one to tie me on the hole. That was my thought process, at least. Mm -hmm. Because this is still, it's still a very, very makeable putt. Obviously. Does he stay in bounds there? Yeah, he's inside yeah, yeah. that center. I see him now. That's a good putt. That's a scary one. So Rico's two shook lead is going to go down and do a, a one shook lead. Basket's really shaking. Um, the good thing you had short putts by yeah, the time exactly. it was shaking. But to be fair, if there was, was shaking, somebody would have gone and stopped it. Yeah. Hole 14, par 5, 716 feet. The first shot's under the arc tree here. Um, you just basically want to miss this cedar on the left or the right. Um, about right there is usually the landing zone. And then you'll have a, uh, a shot similar to the one that they played the last couple of rounds. 
next shot you want to aim at the corner of this uh, fairway here where the pine straw starts any good angle down the peninsula green is going to have you a chance to uh, to get you a birdie Zach up first, electing to throw forehand. I think anything left of that cedar tree and probably 50 feet past it's the ideal landing zone where these guys want to be going for. Yeah, Zach never practiced the forehand, and I told him I was going forehand, so then he switched to the forehand. And Looks like he threw a pretty daggum good. I take full credit for that shot. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, really good. Okay, yep. Yeah. Straight in line with that other short pad. Mm -hmm. Jeremy going Halo Destroyer. I think the forehand gets you the most distance off the tee. And I think it keeps your hand higher when you release it. Exactly, yeah. I, yeah, I feel like it's a higher percentage because you can flex it through the gap. That's right. That's a really huge, tight riser. baby. Yes, sir. That is. Heck, that is, yeah. That's so good. Anything past the road is just glorious. Go and hand them for us. Well, you got some good snap on that one. On an Annie, too. Oh, did that tickle a branch? I think it probably did. I was it looked confused. like it tickled a branch on the corner yeah, over there. I was confused, there. too, why it didn't go far when I got off the shot. Yeah. But whatever. Still, still good... out there in the open. Still yeah. an easy shot. It's, it's like, Especially I, just playing to the corner. Yeah, I'm just playing like a shorter version of uh, Garnet 10. Mm -hmm. Rico going backhand. He's, he's, he's very confident in his backhand, so. When you can throw uh, it like solid, that, I'd be yeah, confident yeah, too. exactly. Especially getting anything to stand up at all, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing a buzz here. Nice and easy to the corner. Yep. Looks very nice. It's a little short of the corner, but should be an anti forehand. Okay. Zach's so just gonna throw a forehand. I mean, if you put it in this spot, you're pretty much just playing a shorter version of the other hole. That's right. And. That means exactly the same play we normally do on the other hole. Yep. We go throwing a reco. But here's the thing: if you get far enough, like these guys did, they have putters to the landing zone instead of a mid or some. Now he chalked his disc eight times instead of four. Is it going to go further? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> so I guess that's why he dialed down to the putter and then and gave the old ten chalker. Be fine. That's the angle. Looks like a, a button approach disc. Looks pretty solid. Like Should have a short. pretty good gap even if it's a little short left. Mm -hmm. Sits soft. Yeah, it does need to be that. Oh, oh man. Good shreve. I don't know if it's hitting down enough. Rico. Oh that man, that's a little finger size tree. I mean, that boy is the size of my wrist. Nubby, baby. nubby. I'm surprised it didn't knock it over. Yeah. I got a little weird turnover here. Pulling out my jawbreaker zone. Pull the jawbreaker zone because it's going to hold the ante. It's also going to grab the ground a little better mm -hmm. than like my Z1 would. Yep. So. Jeremy got far enough up to her, up here to where he still has a pretty good angle. Great shot though. Rico for his birdie. par on that one. This is a hole you never really want to par. It should, should be a pretty simple birdie, but... Right here? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much straight in. Yeah, yeah, it's basically straight. Come here, you, Zach.
Boom, very make, nice putt. Make mine for my par after throwing in the water. Jeremy Hunter for his birdie. It's a good one. And I believe Zach's gonna I'll give that. Yeah, I'm good with that. He's gonna take a par after going up V as well. Hole 15, par 3, 235 feet. Uh, dead straight with a slight bend off the right and a hillside on the right. Either a forehand or a backhand slight turn would, would get the job done. Jeremy going with a forehand. This hole's tough just because of the grain. And the angle is a little weird. Zach going with the zone. Rico's gonna go with the Reco. Currently sitting on a one stroke lead. Getting tight for the last couple holes. A little entertainment value. Mm -hmm. And the last couple holes are very besides the besides twenty. All the other holes before that have a birdie or bogey factor. I'd like to have that score separation to finish. Yep. Myself for a birdie. Gotta run it. Hey, yo, no. What in the world? Yeah, That'll around. teach you to miss it low. <laughs> yeah. Although I threw, it, I threw it an inch above the band and it dropped and hit the gauge. Uh -huh. That was a big tailwind. Bang. And then it switched to a... A right to left on this putt for me. The wind was just swirling all day. Oh yeah, I can't believe that ten on the next hole stayed there. Yeah. Bang! Very nice comebacker with authority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was that that right to left came in to swoop it up. Oh! Ain't gonna big putt me. We're we're making some good putts right now. Boom! Getting them dialed. Hole 16, par 4, 608 feet. Landing zone is right here where the short basket for the other hole is, but it won't be there. Um, and then you want to have uh, another shot clearing this part of the water. Um, the trees are probably about just halfway about circle two, so anywhere in the open and you should have a good putt at it. Mm -hmm. Jeremy with the Raptor. Anywhere past those banners and inbounds is absolute money. Except that's not inbounds. Oh, no. Push it too far straight. Yeah. Now, is this a five? What is Burger's it, buzz? Going zone. That, or zone? Mm hmm Okay. I was, I was confused about ES that one, zone. too. But he said he threw it around with four on this hole, and he said he threw it good. And that, wow. Yeah. That's, that's really where good. you want to be. <laughs> Exactly. And he's far enough left where he has a, he has a wide gap to the green. So we can't make fun of him now. No. <laughs> he just threw his zone to the next deep bat. Zach's going to stick with his forehand play. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Now he can fully pop on it. Yeah. He doesn't have to like land it short now. Oh, he's going to go or, short. Yeah, guys. or short. But that'd be fine. Hey, inbounds is inbounds. Never chalk expected back. him to go short there. Chalk back starting to run out of chalk. Hey, uh huh, uh huh. Just because of the humidity, so you gotta. Doesn't look like quite as many ripples on the pond today. No, it's a little more calm. You can hear it a little bit, but it not. It was a, it was more of a 
tail on this shot and mm -hmm. turn it to a left to right on the next shot. So not a bad one at all. I know the next hole it gets it's a straight head one. Oh boy, get down. I think he's just playing for that other pin essentially. Yep, that'll do just fine. I think I ranged in the round is about 420 from here maybe, maybe 410 or something like that. I think it's set down. And for mine it was about 390. So I'm just gonna go pretty big hyzer with the nuke. Nice. About 25 feet short. Yeah. Needs to get over stable. It is. Yep. Nice shot. Be a good bogey save. Rico with one of the better drives you'll see on this hole. You can start to hear that win. Oh Way man, long. juiced it. Yeah, I mean, he probably had 360 in through. Sure, through that zone that he threw off the tee again. <laughs> <laughs> or mid. Oh boy. Zach from in the woods. Weird spot. Can't really get too much power off that. Need to make it one short game. Boom. Top, top shelf. Great Boom. pop by Rico right there, though. Jeremy to save his bogey after going OB. And it's spat straight through. That's just, that's just unfortunate. You'll see that from time to time with these old Pro 20 24s. Fours. Yep. Yeah. If you come with that the inner row of change just being more vertical just mm -hmm. makes such a difference with the, the reaction when the putter hits it. Yeah. It obviously was a definitely upgrade when they went to the 28s. For sure. Well, 17, par 4, 760 feet. Plays either a forehand or a backhand down to about right here. And then another shot over this section of water to this treacherous green. It was a pretty straight, stiff headwind. Uh, I'm going with a, a Z nuke, one of my more overstable ones. I want a forehand, just trying to fade up on the hill so I have a better angle, but the water's not really in the way. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Great dog. Like a weird hop up. <laughs> dog time out. <laughs> yeah, dog running up the fairway. Go up. Yeah, a bunch of the uh, the owner's family live in the houses, you know, mm -hmm. bordering the sides of the disc golf course. So anytime there's this many people out there, they got to come see what's happening. Yeah. Enjoy all the, the people getting use out of some of their land. I mean, by by the by here, I mean there was only us, chase card, maybe third card out. Yeah, all still on the course. Yeah, yeah. that was it. It's almost the end of it. Rico, I, I still don't know what that purple disc is. We're just gonna assume it's a destroyer. Huh. I know this one is a destroyer for Zach. Very scary tee box here, especially when it's a headwind with the water on Oh, there. yeah. And this hole for a backhand is scary as well. Oh, you got to get it over everything. Oh, that's... I think it should oh. be far enough, though. It's far enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was worried it was too far right. But it's kind of hard to get in 
on that stuff on the right. Yeah, I don't. I think it take a way bigger shot to even come close to that cedar tree where the mando is and all Jeremy that. Jeremy going with the backhand. Just make sure you turn it. Mm -hmm. Get comfortable with the ante. Eyes are flipped to turn. Oh, is that gonna hold? Oh, oh yeah, baby. Yeah, it's holy it's smokes. Gonna, it's gonna hold. That is nice. Yeah. That'll make your second shot a he whole has, lot easier. Like two net, like two eighty in. Yeah. He might even be throwing mid there, putter. Yeah, pretty sure he goes putt and approach disc. Rico with that same purple disc. Oh, is that enough saved. pop? I think it unfortunately it rolls in the water. Oh no! It made it in and then rolled back. Yeah. That, that's a big forehand. Yeah. I mean, and you still got 60 feet from there. Yeah. From here, I didn't practice anything on the second shot, but the disc, I'm, but this nuke again. So I'm going with it again. I'm just going pretty, pretty big hyzer, I think. Mm hmm. Just so I can know. Just I can hug get those the, trees and yeah. take the pond out of it. Yeah, just know I can get the distance right, not go in that water. That's right. It's the only goal now. Yep. Wow. So nice. oh, we got boy. a bad roll. But it's, it's, it's whatever. Yeah, he's Look, going, he curled back on the spine at least, even though it's a little bit further than you wanted. He's going some form of an approach disc here, and he's just going to. That's so good, dude. Nestle. That is the baby. best. Baby. That is the best you'll ever see this Holy whole play. Holy smokes. Rico putting for a par. He's going to jump putt it up. Yep. Should be able to make that one. So if Rico just takes a bogey, ties it up. Unless I can make this one. Well, at least you got an uphill going back toward the land, mm -hmm. going back uphill. Yeah, and this little ditch thing. Oh, that was fortunate. That, yeah. Holy Very. cow. Oh, oh no. no. I he did that. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. So that was a... Entertainment a... value is soaring. So I am now up one stroke with 18, 19, 20 to play. Three more. Very nice. Jeremy just shredded that hole. Yeah. But I mean, when you get that back in like that, holy cow. Hole 18, par 4, 492 feet. Uh, through the trees to start with, out here into the open. Um, we got the quarry hole again. Uh, you can probably land short of it and then try to go uh, through this left gap or miss it over to the right and try to get something a little more um, 30, 40 feet if you don't go for the mound. Jeremy, after his good birdie, is going to throw one. And We were talking this whole hour week. Both didn't get far enough left. But that That's one, right. That one's good. That one's far enough left. No, yeah. Okay. So he can throw a full shot through the gap. Oh yeah, just so you can yeah. have that open shot yep. at the gap mm -hmm. instead of the instead yep. of the hyzer. I'm going with a venom here. Pretty. That's what I've had in my bag for almost a year now. Oh yeah. Boom. Very good angle. That's one of the, that's the best shot I've had in the hole. Zach with the forehand. I was kind of surprised to see this, but he's probably just playing up to the right and then taking the hyzer in. So he's just trying to play to his strengths. Well, he got a good little pop on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to have that hyzer. Uh-huh. Rico going with... Scorpius again. I think it's called. It's gonna. It's very similar to my venom. It's gonna try to do the same thing. Mm. It's a great kick off that tree. Oh, he have might have that angle over there, yeah. or something. He's gonna have to go forehand. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try to go that up there. He's oh no! Throw it inside. Jeremy, that same disc he's been throwing all day. I think it's a copperhead from Lone Star, I think is what it is. It's like a straight zone with a, th it's like a pig and a zone combined. I gotcha. It has like a zone bottom and like a pig top, it's kind of cool. Zach going 
in zone. Yes, he's, he's, yeah, so he's played his played his spot. And he's gonna have this easy. I wouldn't say easy with the win, but still a pretty. Okay, he made it look really simple, actually. Yep. Some pressure on this one. Yeah. Oh Boom! Sweet. Very nice. Pretty good. This is what this one's talking about. He's so much range on his jump hut. Yeah. If I was here, I'm throwing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm standing still throwing that all day. Yeah, I'm going standstill forehand, but he's just okay. Easy jump up. Hey, whatever works. Easy day at the office. Oh, sit. Oh, wow. good sit. Good sit. You never see those sit like that. That's what I'm saying. But hey, it takes some guts to run it from there. Holy moly! Mm -hmm. This is for me to go up two with two to play. There you go. Boom. Oh, chopping away. Chopping away. Zach for his birdie as well. Oh, very nice birdie. Yeah, those are two good birdies. I mean, it's sh if you look at the distance in the par, you feel like it shouldn't be that hard. But sure. With all the OB and this basket. The gaps. The gaps aren't that yeah. big on your second shot, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's over or near trouble on both of them. Good gracious. <laughs> he's, he's not a fan of these 24s, I guess. Hole 19, par 3, 301 feet. The same as Garnet hole 1, but they moved the basket actually to the back right corner now. So it's about where the it's about under the drone right now. So. Makes um, it a little more treacherous of a green. You can't do that lazy hyzer anymore. You kind of got to push it out a little more to the right, or either throw a forehand at it. Uh, my play is I'm just throwing a Luna where the old basket was. Yep. And maybe getting a little drift right, mm -hmm. and then just pretty much in my brand trying to ace around the old uh, other basket. Mm -hmm. Butter, nice. Zach was saying before this he wanted to throw the backhand, but then his mind was like, no, I gotta, I gotta throw the forehand. Huh. And I I think he should throw the forehand. It's He's more comfortable. I trust your gut, yeah, yeah exactly. He's more, he's more comfortable with the forehand, yep. for sure. But he's gonna. Oh boy, he's he did off. not turn. He's going to be right by the drop zone though, yep. which is the blue flags. Not too hard of a putt. He's a pretty good putter. Jeremy going to play this hyzer. Yeah, he just played the old pin essentially. I feel like you, you could definitely do that, just try to park the other basket and take your 20 footer. Rico going with the Reco. We probably said that at least 20 times this tournament. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Woo, just enough yeah, he's, height. He, he's like right next to the old bill. <laughs> Sack from the drop zone. Bang. Very nice par save. Windier now, but towards the end of the round, so. Woo, boy. Good thing that tall grass grabbed it. Let's see if Rico can get his birdie here. Oh, man. That puts it at what three with one to play. Hole twenty, par four, four sixty. Uh, same thing as Garnet number two. You want to land at the top of the hill here. You got two fairways left or right. Um, you landed at the top of the hill, you pretty much got a putter or a mid-range shot. A little bit of elevation at the very end to drop down. Should be a uh, an easier on the par 4 side. 
for sure. I'm going Crystal Raptor. Uh, they pushed this pin back a little bit too. For okay, they did. I forgot about that. For the finishing. For the diamond layout, they did move the basket. Mm -hmm. be fine. So it's a little more than a putter for these guys to reach about 60 or 80 feet past where that basket was in the drone footage. Uh, yeah, I mean, I bet if you were in the perfect spot, I'd still expect you to throw a putter, but... That needs to get... Be fine. It might be in the middle of that clump thing. Jeremy, going with that green raptor? Maybe on the left side, but still yeah, access to that left cap. Mm -hmm. Rico, go with the Firebird. And it just didn't swing because the wind. There's, there's the wind. God, he's dead in the middle of it. Cut off the both yeah. of them. That's yeah, rough. Realistically, he needs to throw it in, and I need to give a five. Yeah. degree angle out of the hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going zone backhand here, just playing for a putt. Miss every tree by a combined inch and have a putt. Jeremy a little left, but he's gonna turn over four in with his copperhead. Oh boy. Tickle something on the right. Yeah, he's going to fall right in that path to the next okay, hole. Okay, so at least he's got wide open, yeah. even though, you know, 80, 100 we foot missed, or so. Uh, we missed it, but Zach just jump putted over, or just putted over to this section. I remember that. Okay. Got a pretty good shot from yeah, there. I Absolutely. They were asking him what he got in the hole. He said four. I thought he got a three, but he I, got I missed the putt, too. Yeah. He did it so fast that Vern missed it as well, I guess. Rico just looking that up. looks like not ideal putting. Just looking up. Probably four in roller if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Might be Zone or Scott Withers Gator. Oh, a jump, a jump roller. Uh huh. And it's gonna be perfect. Well, about as good as he can ask from there. Myself for the birdie in the win. Nope. Oh. Still gonna get the oh, part man. in the win, but Rico for a really good bar save. Boom. Decent putt to finish. do it for the Stony Hill Challenge. Myself at 24 under, Rico at 21, Jeremy and Zach at 17, Matthew and Josh at 13 to round out the top five. We'll see you guys next year at Stony Hill.